What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel, coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and for today I have none other than Fragrance Dubois Oud Vert Intense or Intense Okay, if I can get the camera to focus on that <laughs> Right, so what I'll be doing is I'll be going over the description musing off of the website, followed by a breakdown of the notes. Then I will go through a perfume experience with you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Oud Avert Intense. A refreshing encounter with nature. This fougere fragrance epitomizes the vitality or vitality of verdant valleys. Lively, crisp, and clean, Oud Vert is a signature summer scent with an eminently relaxed composure that renders it perennial. Energetic, top notes herald the arrival of zesty Mediterranean bergamot fused with Madagascan ginger and Sri Lankan cardamom. Warming geranium offers balance paired with a skin synergetic musk that lingers with intent. Okay, so for the top notes, we have bergamot, ginger, and cardamom. For the middle notes, we have coriander seeds, nutmeg, and geranium. And for the base notes, it's vetiver, cedarwood, musk, and again, <laughs> with this house, 100% pure organic vintage oud. All right, so we have our notes. Let's proceed with the perfume experience. Okay, here we go. All right, so I had to do a second spray just because the first one didn't really get going. <laughs> this is so so nice it's like a very suave masculine scent wow <laughs> so it, it smells very familiar but at the same time very different It has this also lotion-y quality to it. Oh my god. It's like very gentleman-like, very sophisticated, classy, elegant, refined. Um, it has, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. And it's like the scent profile on the skin is a very different from when you pull your nostrils away from the skin and you smell it you get very different you access the different notes um, so it has really good projection but we'll get into that shortly okay so in the top notes uh bergamot ginger and cardamom 100 percent all three are here but again like i said you, you get the more um projecting towards you far away from where you sprayed it versus close to the skin which is very interesting uh to me then for the middle notes is coriander seeds nutmeg and geranium so the coriander seeds for sure is there it's really buried deep into the scent so it takes a bit of uh, whiffing to get to it the nutmeg i'm not 100 percent certain on but the geranium is also there it's very subtle again it's sitting there stuffed into the middle so it's hard to pick on uh, but it definitely is there and in the base notes we have vetiver cedar with a musk and the oud so this is 100 percent has this musky quality to it but it's not overbearing, okay? It's actually very subtle musk in here, just gives it enough of that musky mugginess without it being too musky. Uh, vetiver and cedarwood, uh, yes and yes for those two. There's ample vetiver in here, which is beautiful. I love vetiver. And there's also cedarwood. 
with the oud again, I mean, with this house, okay? I can't pick on oud in here, okay? They claim 100% pure organic vintage oud. So basically, oud that came from an organic plantation and it has been aged. Now, for how long? Your guess is as good as mine to claim vintage. But again, as I've said in some of the other videos, I think the whole idea is making, um, from a marketing standpoint, uh, a scent that while not necessarily oud centric can be marketed as an oud scent for the western nose okay so this way if you if you're accustomed to a western profile of scents but you're curious about ouds and as a perfumer and a marketeer i know that for the untrained western nose actual oud would be too potent then it would be enough to add like a very small droplet in here and what that does is it fulfills the marketing promise of providing an oud centric scent with a western uh please with a western nose pleasing profile uh and at the same time be able to charge a rather high markup uh for what otherwise would be um a perfume that's uh, pricing wise significantly less than that but just adding the oud in here just jacks the price up significantly now the reason i mention this is because if you're like me and you're a fan of oud and you jumped into this house thinking that you're gonna get an oud centric perfume uh, you're not okay so just something to be cognizant of uh, if you're an oud head this will be disappointing okay this is not meant for oud heads this is not meant for purists this is more of a um, a play on oud for the western nose especially the untrained unfamiliar nose when it comes to oud okay but honestly otherwise gorgeous i just pe picked on the nutmeg I really love the lotion quality in here. I don't know what function. I think it's probably the geranium that's giving that lotiony note. God, this is so good. Okay, and 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 again, it's like it's not a new scent profile, but it's just done so well. It's so well polished and refined that it's just it's really nice and and. As it projects towards my nostrils, it, it's it's not dying out. My nose is not going numb to it. And it has this citrusy, fizzy quality, both of which are the function of the bergamot and the ginger. And I'm, I'm loving this. There's this freshness, cleanliness to it. And then as you get to the skin, you get this lotion quality of the geranium. And then as you whiff more, you get the spicy green woodiness. Uh... Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. Okay, uh, so let's speak uh, to some fact data. Uh, so overall performance is strong. I mean, this thing is projecting really well off of my skin. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say strong performance across the board. So projection trail and silage on this one is gonna be strong. Okay, with respect to time of day, you would wear this given its clean fresh vibrant fizzy uh, profile i'll recommend this for morning wear even early afternoon but later in the day i just don't see it working it's, uh, even for the evening you can wear it because it has strong performance but it's not congruent with you know the um, lack of sunlight and the um, evening time so recommended for morning wear uh, with respect to seasonality so they've already highlighted that this is fitted for warm weather so think spring and summer and i do agree with that even though we have some cardamom in here some nutmeg they are understated so typically you see this come into play in colder weather so just because they're understated and they're not very prominent in here i would not recommend this for fall or winter uh so just warm weather wear so think spring and summer now, with respect to how you would dress this, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, formal to semi-formal will be perfect for this. And with respect to the uh, gender spectrum, 
This is a masculine scent. Even though it has a lotion-y quality to it, I mean, the ladies can still wear it, but it definitely has this traditional male, masculine DNA to it. So, to the ladies, I'm not going to discourage you from going for it, but just keep in mind that this is more masculine in profile, even though it has this lotion-y quality to it, okay? So, I recommend this for the men, but I do not discourage discourage the ladies from uh, jumping on this. I still think you would enjoy it, okay? Now, with respect to the context you'd wear this in, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is office safe. Now, not necessarily the best scent to take to office just because of the lotion equality, but it does have this clean polish to it. So it is office safe. It has this formality to it, okay? And it has a bit of seriousness to it, but a little bit of playfulness coming from the uh, fizz of the ginger. Uh, but it is office safe. Uh, I'd recommend this also for going out on a date. So if you're going to uh, a rather more upscale, nicer date, definitely put the scent on. Uh, it's also a very good uh, signature scent, especially if you're trying to convey yourself as someone that has their uh, affairs in order, someone that is organized, is clean, takes their hygiene seriously, this is the scent for you, which is why it also works great for more upscale dates. And uh, where else would I recommend this? Honestly, it's versatile enough to go anywhere. It has this um, typical masculine profile of the uh, citrus uh, in bergamot and the green in vetiver and the woodiness in cedarwood that you're not putting something on that is off-putting. It's mass appealing. And like I said, it's just, it's an existent scent profile just with a new spin on it that makes it more polished, more refined, uh, more luxurious, if you wish. And uh, yeah, very utilitarian, very versatile. You can take it anywhere. You can put it on even in the gym, honestly, if you like putting perfume in the gym, great scent for the gym. Wherever you go, you can put this on. It's not offensive. It's mass appealing. Uh, it has this class to it and elegance and maturity. So you're going to do fantastic with this scent. So overall, would I recommend Fragrance Dubois Oud Vert Intense? 100% yes. Get your nose on it. Get your wallet on it. Cop it. You will not regret it. Um, just the caveat being that if you already have green scents that are bergamot, vetiver uh, centric, Maybe hold off on this unless you want to replenish uh, your stock uh, or your, um, not stock, your collection and you're looking for uh, something new, slightly more polished, then by all means go for it. But if you already have more than one bottle of this profile, think like um, French Lover by Frederick Mall, for example. While it's not the same exact profile, it's very different but also same at the same time in terms of ingredient, then maybe hold off on this until you finish your bottle of French Lover. But if you're running out and you wanted a brand new green scent and you wanna try something different from what you're accustomed to, then by all means go for it. Uh, it's a fantastic scent, fantastic traditional green masculine scent. All right? All right, you guys, with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. As per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>